the Joe Rogan experience. Think about was, some jobs like lumberjack. Like a lumberjack, you yeah. immediately think of a giant man. I think right? of a paper towel giant. Yes. Yeah. That did that for Is that job. He was a lumberjack, right? The paper towel guy was he? The a brawny giant? guy's not a giant. He yeah, maybe he's a normal man. Paul Bunyan is not the brawny guy, but oh. I looked at him. <laughs> was it, is the brawny guy a ripoff of the Paul Bunyan well, character? Paul Bunyan's like the uh, the fairy tale or whatever. But what is? Are we imagining the brawny guy incorrectly? I have a feeling he's just a regular sized guy. I it's think just he's just a, a handsome. He's the kind of guy men and women want to fuck. That's right. He's like a Marlboro <laughs> Man type character. <laughs> <laughs> he would be the guy that starts the orgy in the LSD camp. Yeah, it's a regular oh, dude. Oh, he's clean. He's now he looks dude. like uh, Teddy from... Uh, it's just a perspective thing. Well, there's, well, I remember there's yeah, see? Guy. Yeah, but the, the other... Beard. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there we go. The I don't remember guy this guy. with the mustache. The guy with the mustache on the left-hand side. Yeah, he's just a regular-sized guy with some trees behind him. The guy... No, the... the on the guy in the top two is that the same guy or is that different mustache guys? The new guy is uh, that that guy is. He weird. died of HIV, sadly, and that's why we have this new. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did I don't understand why they got rid of the old brawny guy and made a totally different guy a brawny guy? Because yeah, this it. this brawny clean? guy looks like he lives on Long Island, and uh, you yeah, know, he re <laughs> he looks like Adam Carolla. <laughs> he owns a travel company. Or something. <laughs> he, 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 but he's got a, like one of them uh, second Wait. market ticket sales Strength. companies. Yeah, they had a thing. At the Strength website. has no gender. What is that? It's a brawny. Is that a brawny commercial? Please yeah. don't say that's real. Yeah. yeah. That's Strength has no it. gender. That's true. I guess. Why are they mean? in the... Are they, wow, it looks really like a lesbian book club of some kind. Like, look at the... There are definitely women that are stronger than some men. Yeah, so well, I get I, it, but I don't know why. I don't. First of all, I don't know why, why a paper towel would tell me anything. Well, not only that, why is it assuming that I don't think that women are strong? It's assuming it. That's well, why they it's have not that. At, ad. It's not it at says you. strength has no gender. Well, okay, listen. It's to this. our women. It's our okay, women. Okay, but listen. Yeah. What if it was us? What if it was a, a bunch of meathead-looking men standing there and said strength has no gender? Because people would be like, "Hey, saying, fuck dude. you! <laughs> right. Fuck you! We know you're strong. <laughs> right. Stop." Stop. Women are strong, too. Like, okay, I didn't say you well, weren't. I just said strength has no gender, and here's he, me and my that, friend. Somebody in marketing, <laughs> that's like the, the whoever does the marketing, they're like, what yeah. do women, whoever the Don Drapers that go, like, what do women want? <laughs> There's a like, they're white. Girls. They are angry. They don't think they're strong. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the purely the, it's like the dumb dad on the sitcom thing. That's just like a thing that's been going on for, I don't know, forever that image, that insulting fucking. Yeah. They're teaching you about life. Because While they're all, selling you paper towels. Because <laughs> every woman is an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but that picture, go back to that picture. I would feel so sold out if I was a guy and I was really into brawny because I kind of look like the brawny guy. And then I go I to mean, buy my you, brawny <laughs> towels and there's three chicks. If you were a guy. They stole position. <laughs> <laughs> if you felt like the brawny guy. <laughs> but literally, it's like pregnant men. Okay, the brawny guy is a goddamn lumberjack. I would assume most lumberjacks... Are, are are probably big strong men. You right? don't think he became a gay kind of icon a, a while? I mean, I understand the, the what idea you're saying. that they have three female lumberjacks. Three. Well, you got to do the job of one man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lob. You've got a, a lob for the grand slam. <laughs> he has to jack the lumber of one full man. <laughs> this is going to take three of these yeah. strong ladies. It's just, <laughs> what are the percentages of women that are lumberjacks, and what's the likelihood of three of them being on a team? It looks in, in that picture. He looks like a guy who's about to take a, a shit a lot. And by the way, this is an ignorant question. I, I'm aware. If you're a female lumberjack and you're mad at me right now, I'm sorry. I don't know anybody that's a female lumberjack. I'm just ask, just asking questions. They're, I mean, they're wearing lumberjack clothes. That's what a lumberjack wears. Holy I'm shit. assuming. Are Wait, you posing? What is this? Is this guy. stolen valor? Suspe if you have, <laughs> it is, is stolen, this stolen valor. Is this stolen valor? Are you pretending you wear <laughs> you're out there carrying trees? <laughs> you wearing a lumberjack shirt is stolen it's valor. It's stolen valor. These aren't lumberjacks. <laughs> These are models. These are hot chicks with nice nails. They're not out there carrying trees and shit. You know they could. By the way. They're, they're not. You know, I'll tell you what. The women that do do that job, I promise, they're not going to put on the paper towels. There's, you're they don't right. Look like you. There's like yeah. Just look, fucking put a wig on the guy. Look at that one lady with her sleeves rolled up. Are you about to go to work? Look at her. To go to that picture. Click on that. She's got this really thin body, these really thin arms, and she's got her sleeves rolled up with her flannel shirt, flannel shirt on in front of a bunch of trees. Are you about to chop trees down, ma'am? 
Because um, you weigh 90 pounds. You I think get the, the fuck out of the I way I think the trees. idea is to make you think that you feel like a lumberjack while you're wiping your counter down yeah. is the is what they're trying to convey. I think we need to be more respectful about what the fuck it means to be a lumberjack. I would think you would, you would think that that would be romantic until you did that job eight hours a day, five days a week, <laughs> and your fucking body's broken down because you're carrying logs on your shoulder <laughs> and shit. And you're chopping at trees. Oh, my God. Was your father a lumberjack? Because no, very. <laughs> this is what I feel. You, you can't pretend you're a goddamn lumberjack. You can't take a hot model and cover her face with a little bit of coal powder and pretend she's a coal miner in West Virginia getting black lung. You can't, because she's not. <laughs> if you, <laughs> that sounds like a great point. Unless I believe you, you're not a lumberjack, lady. And that guy, okay, Brawny, what, what if that was for Similac and uh, he was breastfeeding? So like, that what? would be fucking hilarious. So just as likely as that lady being a lumberjack. <laughs> just as likely that the brawny guy is breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah, Brett, I think. Yes. Just as likely. Lumberjack is a, f a brutal <laughs> physical. It's If a woman's doing it, that woman's going to be jacked. She's going to be strong as fuck. The, What's the one that... Uh, jean shirt. They just left it with that. Less dude, issues. What's the one that kicked off the whole, like... Uh, oh, the Gillette one, like the one that kicked off the whole, uh, uh, like, fuck men advertising strategy. What was that one? You know, the fucking Gillette. I don't know. I don't, it happened? was a while ago. It's Did a, I miss it? It was like. Did I miss this, some outrage? Yeah, we talked about it, I'm sure. You must oh. have talked about it. Which one was it? It was hilarious. It was about, uh, like uh, Gillette, best is this, get. Is like this the best a man can get? And then they would, sh <laughs> and it was like, the Me Too movement, time's up. Fucking, the guy's looking in the mirror at himself, and then it, it cuts Dude, you uh, oh, don't remember I this. remember it. Uh, now I remember it. Yeah. yeah. It was preposterous. I am pretty high, so. <laughs> no, no, no. I remember it now. I, I blocked it out like a childhood molestation. Well, then there was like a, a, a fake debate. I, all these people are like, I'm never buying Gillette. You know, people are tweeting. They're throwing out their fucking right. Gillette razors. And, um, and somebody told me, like, it's, gr it's brilliant because it's to the women who are buying the razors. But here's the thing. The women that are buying right, they're not into that either. A woman that's buying razors for a man is also not into the fucking Gillette ad. So whoever is in charge of the marketing, they, it's their entire, like... What do you think that is? Do you think that's, like, someone who decides they're going to cash in yeah, well, on it's a movement that... and they just say, maybe there's an opportunity here to make some money? Oh, and... dude. Wait, were you... Okay, I totally forgot. <laughs> what? 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 You know, do you remember... Like, look at this. The guy... Men with their fucking sick... Now, did you see what they just showed? It's the like guy a guy put his hand on her shoulder. No, it was a fucking sitcom right. where a white guy grabs his black maid's ass and it's all men in the audience right. going, ha, 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 what fucking show was that? The sitcom, <laughs> the guy would just fucking grab his maid's ass and everyone's like, yay. Uh, is there a show like that? Maybe no. Married with Children? No. Look at no, it. even yeah. then. Yeah. Let me see it again. That's fake. But That's so fake. That's, that's such weird. a bizarre that's dynamic. Because, but it's re you're right. You're dead right because it's a recreation of something that didn't really happen. What are like, they? What is that supposed sitcom. to be an example of? That's not even like a mashup of anything I've ever seen. But it's like they made a fake TV show. Yeah, that's where that, it's like that's, there, here's okay. an example of the type of shows you like. No one was watching that. But that's not even a show, right? That's yes, why it's so it's weird. Not even yeah. So it's, it's like a straw man show. The whole thing is a fucking straw man. Right, but I mean that. If if they're but that's a weird way of doing it. Is that what they were depicting? Were they depicting a fake sitcom? Yeah, fake it sitcom. It seemed like it, right? Mm -hmm. Which I mean, it seemed like it was. Yeah, right. Yeah. Frank, there's, like there's how? Watch, well, the, the, weird the, is that they don't yeah. have a real example. They how just, weird is that? This is already got a fake set right there. There he is. Oh yeah, how weird is that? <laughs> that guy, I, like, not even a puppet did shit like that on one of the puppet sitcoms from the nineties. And that's weird too. Oh, that guy put this. his hand on that girl's shoulder, and she had this weird look in her face, like, oh my god. I know that's the craziest. Like if a woman, I thought it was a Joe hand, Biden kind of campaign. <laughs> if you were working with a woman and she put her hand on your shoulder like that, you'd be it would be nothing, um, right? Yeah, well, it, it's not unless a good. It your, well, it's not a good example to put in your ad. I it. look in a real situation like, hey, I felt this weird thing. I'm sure there could be a situation that someone puts their hand on your shoulder and it's weird, right? Oh yeah, not automatically. Or or that you're they insulted you. Yeah, and then they put their hand on your shoulder. Why are you putting this? The whole point that I can't get past is why the fuck is why are you talking about yeah, this? Why aren't why aren't you telling me how great your razors are? You fucks. You should be begging me to buy your fucking <laughs> exactly. razor. You fucking moron. What are you doing? They think it causes you're teaching people. 
No, because then you talk about it like on a podcast, right? And then they're like, see, you've got engagement. Mm, that engagement. doesn't mean people are going to buy this shit. I'm not going to not buy it. I just think some marketing person fucked up. I don't think it's representative of the whole company. Um, it's some marketing person. They just they decided they were going to like yeah right hatch or hitch a ride onto the back of this movement. A bunch of things did. Yeah, for a sure. A ton of things. Isn't that weird when they do that? It's like, like what? It's, you, you think know. I'm so stupid? I'm not going to know what you're doing that you're because statistically you are that stupid. They have some kind of research <laughs> where they're like, yes, you are statistically. It's like the the letter from Nigeria to. 